Hi, uh, this is Snow, or you might know me as Snow Squared. I'm the coder slash programmer behind Portoized, www.portoized.org. And you might also know me from the Ogre forums or, I don't know, somewhere else. And I'm just going to show you the new GUI system we're developing for Portoized. Because at first, we started with one, and it came out very ugly. It was usable, but ugly and not user-friendly. And yes, we did consider the other GUI systems, such as Crazy Eddie's GUI, My GUI, Quick GUI, Button GUI, Beta GUI. Uh, am I missing something? Don't get offended if I'm missing something. I, I just probably forgot about it. Oh, RB GUI, Rocket Lib. Um, we also considered using an external GUI, such as QT or WX widgets. But then we wouldn't be able to have an in-game, like a GUI on a computer that's in-game. So we decided to make our own. And I'm going to show you what we came up with. Let me just load the project up. One second. All right, here we go. Just going to run... And here we have the play game state, the editor, and credits. This is just a placeholder, so don't don't really think much of it. And here we have the ugly old GUI. As you can see, it does have some features such as smooth scrolling, uh, fading in and out. But maybe it's pretty ugly. You gotta agree. And then we decided to skin it. You know, add some drawing code and make it pretty that's when we came up with the first skin for it which was called awesome and you could just uh, skin the GUI in real time I mean it's pretty flexible using Lua you would just write GUI dot sheet update the sheet is the parent I guess of all the current widgets you could have any number of sheets and there's no hooks or anything it just renders whatever you tell it to render for example the editor game state has its own sheet and it just says sheet dot render there's no special render cues or render hooks or anything y you just tell it when to render what to render and that's something that we uh, considered because for example take one of the other GUI systems there's always some kind of manager my GUI, Crazy Eddy GUI, Quick GUI, whatever. They all have some sort of central manager. You know, manager create widget type, whatever. Manager create button, manager create window, manager find widget called button 2, whatever. I didn't want that because I want to have, I don't need a manager. What's the point of a singleton or global manager when you could just, if you need a GUI, make a sheet and add widgets. There's no reason to have some kind of global system here. So anyways, that uh, got off topic. GUI that sheet update uh, skin equals the first skin we called it awesome. And it just just works. Here we go. You might recognize this from the from the main menu. Yeah, the main menu has its own sheet and the, that sheet uses the awesome it uses the awesome skin. So the editor used the other skin. But anyways, it's pretty nice, right? You know, scroll bar, whatever, console, some levels. Kind of off topic again, but here we have a level with 270-something nights. I forgot how many. It's running in real time, over 60 FPS, frames per second. doesn't render any lights that it doesn't need to. It's a deferred renderer. It's quite a lot of lights on the steering, walls, whatever. And he's actually a level before that with less lights. And then a level before that with no lights. <laughs> uh, it has a radio or something. Whatever. Here's a level with one light. And anyways, I want to show you the new skin we're developing that's even better looking. It's called Crystal. Oh, these are the bug windows. Here you can see the depth data, normals, diffuse, emissive. Secondary light bounce, f 
primary light bounce. Here's a new GUI skin. It's called uh, Crystal. Looks pretty nice. It's nice and transparent. Fits in nicely. There's going to be lots of changes, of course. I mean, for example, the scroll bar can change, these buttons can change, the title bar can change. But in general, it's pretty good so far. It looks good. And as a cute little side effect, I guess, you could also skin separate widgets separately. Basically, if a widget doesn't have a skin, it looks to its parent. So if you give a widget a skin, it doesn't look at its parent, and it just uses its own skin. So we, what we can do is, using the console, GUI.sheet, child, props win, that's the props panel, here we have it. Update, skin equals old, and all of a sudden, we have a very, very, very ugly panel here. Here we have a nice GUI, right? And then an ugly props panel. Like, wow. And then, of course, we could just use a different, a different skin. I mean, we could have a GUI.sheet update. I meant a GUI.sheet child uh, props win update skin equals awesome. And now use the awesome skin. As you can see, it doesn't affect other things. And now, if you change the sheets, GUI that sheet update skin equals old. It doesn't change this widget's uh, skin because it has its own skin. You could reset the skin, and then I'll use whatever the sheet skin is. For example, we could have sheet uh, GUI that sheet child props win update skin and then if you give it a blank skin it just resets and when it, the skin resets then it just uses the parents skin and since the parent is a sheet you get this the ugly style whatever skin and of course you could also get an error which would be a skin that doesn't exist GUI dot sheet update skin equals you know whatever this doesn't exist and then you get this I mean most things still render I mean you could still see the text you could still see the you could still see this I mean the actual props you could still spawn them but it won't there's no skin and it tells you that failed to load GUI skin whatever <laughs> now if I could just find the text box oh there it is GUI that sheet update skin equals crystal and ta-da we have a pretty GUI and that's basically it for now I just want to show you the new GUI here's the editor and that's it. I I'll uh, I'll talk to you later.